truth. Pulling out can be a very effective form of birth control if it's done properly. Also truth, the vast majority of people do not do the pull out method properly. Humans, you know, we're just flawed creatures. Well, with the exception of Beyonce and baby Leo. For a couple that uses the pull out method correctly every single time, four in 100 become pregnant within a year. That means with perfect execution of the pull out method, it's 96% effective. That's a better success rate than pretty much anything I've attempted in my life. Even though it has the potential to be 96% effective, it is actually, in the real world, only about 73% effective. Slightly more than one in four couples who use this method become pregnant. That's a lot of oopsies. You may be asking yourself, how the f does someone mess up the pullout method? The first common mistake is not properly handling the pre-cum. So in preparation for ejaculation, a fluid called pre-ejaculate or pre-cum is released by the cowper's glands. Pre-cum does two things. It neutralizes the urethra so that the sperm can survive, and it also slicks things up so that it's easy for the semen to go through. For most people, their pre-cum does not contain any sperm. That's right! The vast majority of people do not have sperm in their pre-cum! This isn't even a megaphone. I don't know. What I'm doing with my life. What can happen though is the precum can pick up sperm that's already chilling out in the urethra from a previous ejaculation. An easy solution to this that's not foolproof but definitely helps is to go pee before you have sex. The second mistake, however, is the real downfall. This is how people get pregnant. A lot of folks, they're like, yeah, I got this, no big deal, I'll just pull it out. But then the moment comes where you're getting toward orgasm and it's like, fuck, she grew up. And oopsie. Accidents are very common. It's like my magical multiple orgasms video. You need practice, you need to be able to understand your body, and you have to have a lot of self-control to be able to execute the pull-out method properly. Third mistake is still managing to get ejaculate near the vagina even though you've pulled out. So somewhere around the vulva, the outside part, you can still get pregnant this way. The sperm just like, whoo, they're on a mission and they will find their way. Who is a good candidate for the pullout method? Monogamous couples who have been tested for STDs together. Even though the pullout method can help to lower the odds of getting pregnant, it does not protect you against sexually transmitted infections. Couples that know each other's bodies well, have experience with each other, and have a good amount of self-control. If you and your partner decide that this is a good method for you, be sure to practice with the condom on a few times to make sure you've got the timing down right. Couples that have been together for a while and trust each other. Pulling out requires a lot of trust. You are really relinquishing your birth control to your partner. If you don't quite feel comfortable with it, a partner who loves and respects you will gladly wear a condom so that you have peace of mind and can enjoy yourself. Not so good candidates for the pull-out method would be folks who are a little bit less experienced sexually. You know, maybe they've only been sexually active for a few years. New couples, couples who haven't been tested together. Also, anyone who uses don't worry, I'll pull out as an excuse not to wear a condom. So if you find yourself thinking right now, hey, this might actually be a good method for my partner and I, you can make it more effective by combining it with condoms. You can actually make the pull-out method more effective by using it with any other method of birth control. It'll make it that much stronger. In the event that an accident does happen, emergency contraception is a good backup. Take it as soon as possible. Okay, now you know the gospel truth about pulling out. The short version is don't don't rely on it unless you know what you're doing. If you're gonna have unprotected sex anyway, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Any further questions, you can send me a tweet at gogreen18. I know I'm confusing and sometimes leave things out, so feel free to send me any thingies that you think of there. Okay, have fun, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Except your mom, oh. What?